Villanova returns home for the first time in 2020, fresh off of a wonderful trip in the South. A top five win under their belt. A star stack pitching lineup for Kevin Mulvey. He and his staff have assembled tons of arms for this season and back at Plymouth meeting once again for on the season. As the Highlanders are coached by Robbie McClellan in his second year, this one's driven into deep center field. Ball's carrying well. It's off the fence as Choi is on his way to third. Normally the ball doesn't carry when it's cold in March, but we've had a game. But now... Could it be more offense down the left field line? And yes, offense indeed. NJIT takes a one nothing lead as David Marcano, one of their best bats with an RBI double, and the visitors strike first. Yeah. Batting just two thirty seven off of him. There goes the runner. The throw is in time. A strike by John Hooley, the freshman catcher. I agree with you, with William Marcano up there. He drives it in the deep center field, and it'll be put away by Chris Rotondo for out number two. One, two from Tyler Arella. Swing and a miss. Got him on a changeup. Scott Hart calling balls and strikes. Frederick Nastry at first, and Justin Murphy at third as Rotondo goes down. Two balls and two strikes. That's driven into deep center. Back goes Albert Choi in front of the warning track. He's got it. And, well, and that's driven into left for a base hit as Nick LaRusso gets the first home hit of the 2020 season for Villanova baseball. Yeah, yeah, Grant Verpalat, the lefty from California, gets away from the catcher. Should be a pass ball, yeah, and LaRusso like takes second. And this is driven back up the middle to base hit. Coming around third is LaRusso, and Villanova ties the game. An RBI single by Ryan Tors. Connecticut. Boy, that one is rocketed into left, but right at Andrew Elcock, the left fielder. Last time was 2012 they did that, so it's they didn't have a great decade. It's time for a new decade. That's popped up over to third. Boy, what a circus grab by Nick LaRusso as he hauls it in. Yeah, it got him a little bit. He had a 2-1 lead in the, late in the fourth and then a, a big two-run home run. It was a little bit away from us. That one is a line shot over the glove of Dylan McNary into left center for a base hit as Andrew Elcock shoots it the other way. Years ago on that doubleheader on a Sunday, Hooley throws to first. It gets past Tours, and the runners will move up each a base. And as one, two hits him, and the bases will be loaded. Coming set is 0-2. Oh, is a called strike three on the corner. They can dominate here. That's hit right back to Arella. He'll jog it over and flip for the final out of the inning, and he gets out of a jam here in the second. Good job. And RBIs on the season. And he drills this one into deep left. It's carrying well. Back it goes. This ball is out of here. Kiss it goodbye. Not coming back. Dylan McNary goes yard here in the home opener. And Villanova takes a 2-1 to lead. Kid out of Massachusetts hammers it out of here. Like I said, more importantly, the wind's blowing out. It never blows out here. That might be trouble there. It looks like now the right fielder or center field has got a beat on it. And Choi pulls it in. So Hooley flies out to center for the first out of the inning. The 0-2 is down low. Did it hit him? Yeah, you're going to say it hit Batsman. So I think it might have hit him off the bounce, but it did hit him. So A.J. Hansen gets first base. Argulis. There goes the runner. The throw from Luke Longo. A little bit late. No, they got him. In 2017. Three, two. Swing and a miss. Good slider. Verpalat strikes out Margulis to end the inning. Did compared to maybe the previous decade. That's a rocket shot down the left field line as David Marcano is two for two. He thought about a double. Maybe a second? Nope, he'll keep it to his first single of the day. Here. The 3-2, there goes the runner. It's low, ball four. Julio walks. You'd like to get at least five out of him, you think. Grounder to third. LaRusso steps on the back for one, fires the second. The first, trying for the triple play. They almost had it. They almost had Hussies at first on a fielder's choice and a fly ball by Paul Franzoni into center, and Chris Rotondo has it. That'll do it for the Highlanders in the third it looked said, kind of exclamation point was the big two run triple that ball's carrying look at the center fielder run down and try to get that one he's going to 
no, he's not. He is. <laughs> Boy, Albert Choi dancing with danger out by the warning track. He comes up with it. Ball is carried. Two balls and no strikes. That's popped up. Down the right field line, tricky ball. Who wants it? No man's land. The second wow. baseman, Mike Kubiak, goes over and gets it. Speaking of, here's Nick LaRusso. One for one with a single to run scored. A ground ball to short. David Marcano throws him out. And a 1-2-3 inning for Grant Verpelat as the Wildcats go in order for the first time today. Not a danger. He's been able to make pitches when he needs to. And there he gets the change up for strike three. Third strikeout for Tyler Arella. Nary had a leadoff solo homer in the second. Check swing grounder right back to Arella by Elcock, the left fielder. And Tyler throws him out. And there he's go, Steve. Two yeah, outs. That's what you quick see him in the seventh and eighth. Rocket shot over towards McNary on a tricky hop. Big arm. McNary throws him out. One, two, three inning for Tyler Arella. Smooth and simple. Have such a down year. And he gets hit there. But you know he's capable. He's on base for the second time. Feel their hands for a change this time of year. And that's a big fly ball to deep center. Line drive shot. Well played by Albert Choi, who brings it in. Yeah, you can just tell by Lucas as he left home. Two coming to McNary into left center for a base hit. Tours started, so he'll get to third, and McNary is two for two, and the Wildcats have runners at the corners with just one away. His 3-1 is hit on the ground to short. Torres breaks for home. They go to second for one, but Marcano throws it away in the right field. The Wildcats get another run home, safe all around. Yeah. It's 3-1, to one, Nova. Herpelat set. Here's the one, two, swing and a miss. Got him. Yeah, nice off speed pitch there. Took advantage of a young hitter there. AJ trying. Hooley, his lead off first. That's Down the right trouble. field line for Margulis. On the run is Julio wow. Marcano, who makes the grab to retire the side. Showed- You're right. I think they'll give yeah. it to Powell. And actually, you could argue that it's a good pitch there by Arell as he gets Donnelly to swing and a miss for strike three. The kid. Yeah, right? Well, I guess. Maybe the team didn't. <laughs> this has popped up. <laughs> You know, I, you know, if you're having a good year, it means your team is winning. And Dylan McNary makes a sneaky catch there. Nice grab by the sophomore shortstop. Down. How about up to bat? Albert Choi flied out there just a second ago. Grounded third, and LaRusso got him. And Tyler Arella back-to-back, one, two, three innings. Yeah, he's, he's really settled in. Radic is probably the word I use, but he's been able to make pitches when he needs to. That's popped up into right. As it's Julio Marcano there to make the play. Without having any fans there. They've done that. They've done that in the soccer games in Italy. This has popped up into left. Andrew Elcock, the left fielder, hustles in to make the grab for out number two. One for two with a single to run scored for Nick LaRusso on the 3-2. It's ball four. So Nick LaRusso on base for the second time. Good job by Nick into the trip. 3-2 Three two to Tor, swing and a miss. He got him. Nice breaking pitch there from Verpilot. Fourth strikeout for the lefty from California, and the Wildcats strand a two out base runner in Larusa. Arella is done after five innings, and Cameron Mathis will take over the local kid from the Philly suburbs. The right hander on the mound for Kevin Mulvey. Good out and struggled in his last, so that's popped up into left. AJ Hansen has it. For the Wildcats, and one gone to the staff. You don't have to overuse Mathis as he gets Hussey here. Two gone. Yeah, you want to slot him into the role. He's pretty good, actually. Yeah, they were, you know, as you mentioned. That's Fly ball, ball well to the left. Hit pretty well, but it will die at the warning track for A.J. Hansen. Solid inning for Cam Mathis as Villanova pitching has retired the last 11 Highlanders. We go to the bottom. One ball and two strikes. That's driven a ton into deep left center field. Ball is carrying. This ball is off the oh, fence. I thought he had it. As Latrenta to second. He's on his way to third with a sliding double triple for Lucas Latrenta. Almost a great catch by the center fielder. Door for good number two season. A big time hit there. Dylan McNary. Is three for three, an RBI single. It's four to one, Villanova as Latrenta scores. There he goes, takes off. Ball hit on the ground, the shortstop. They'll stay out of a double play. David Marcano throws out Hooley at first. 
yeah. vacation. Everybody else is way under 500. On the ground, the shortstop, David Marcano eats it up and throws out Hanson, and McNary gets to third season. One, two, hit on the ground to third. Nice stop by Jared Donnelly. Gets up and throws out Margulis to end the sixth. Villanova adds a... You don't really have an in-depth scouting report. That's what you don't want to do is walk the leadoff hitter after you built the three-run lead. Okay, Matthew. Start on the weekend. It was a doubleheader on a Sunday. Jimmy Kingsbury pitched very well. Cam yeah. Mathis gets him here. But look, you... Mathis still ahead of him. One, two. Good breaking ball on the ground. The short could be two. McNary for one. O'Neill the turn. Scoop by Torres. Six, four, three. Inning, ending, double play. Well done by Villanova's defense. Leverage when you come back for senior year. They know they're signing. Chris Rotundo earns a walk to get on base. Chris Rotundo. Show here last year. They, you know, I think they had a 17 strikeout. Great jump by Pat O'Neill. Gets the bunt down perfectly. Nobody covering third, and good heads-up play by Chris Rotundo. He'll take third base. Good call there, Steve. A little bit of sleep there for NJIT. Is it LaRusso, the sophomore from Connecticut? Ball four. Good job. As I mentioned, Nick very seldom goes out. Let's see if Ryan can get one here at 2-0. He does, but he rolls it over. Over to second. They'll get one. Tours beats it out. Okay. so A run scores. So just a force. Homers and slugging. On the ground to third, tricky hop for Jared Donnelly, but the throw is there to get LaTrenta. And Aquib Ramkishan gets out of it here in the seventh, aided by Jared Donnelly. It's a good swing out. Oh, nice play over at second. Pat O'Neill gets it up and throws him out. Beautiful play there by the Villanova second baseman. Povey into his wind. Fastball is popped up. Behind home play, and another great play. Another rookie, John Hooley, comes up with it. Yeah, you know that ball's going to come back to you. It always does in that pick of a play there by Hooley. Two gone, 0-1, oh, down the right field line. David Marcano, the shortstop, will have his third hit of the ball game. Up with it is Sam Margulis, not in time. It's the second double of the day for David Marcano, his second extra. The 1-2 is right a there. called strike three to end the inning. Absolute paint for Jack Povey, who records his first second year, but he joined the staff back in 2011. McNary on the ground, the short. David Marcano, low throw. Nice scoop by Nick Hussey, the first baseman. I think kind of what he was brought in to do defensively. Swing and a miss as Hooley goes down swinging. And LaRusso across the diamond. In the outfield, it's been... A.J. Hansen up the middle. Knocked down by Mike Kubiak. He'll be safe. Infield single, more or less, for A.J. But you know how this game is. You can, you know, slumps happen, and you try to be ready for it. Nice job by David Marcano. Just in time as Margulis almost beat it out in the Hazleton area. And that's hit back up the middle for a base hit. As Nick Hussey has his first. This ball is hit into deep right, but it's playable for Sam Margulis. He puts it away, and one gone in the ninth. And I think the reason it's been a small group is because they've been throwing strikes. So you, when, you have, when you have struggling innings and you've got to go to another guy, they've been pretty effective. Nice job. Backpedaling is Pat O'Neill for out number two. The train, the bus, the plane, the automobile, be an auto run. Up, up automobile. The, no, be no running. Six. Can Villanova keep their win streak going? The oh. call just misses. That's been a strike most of the day. It's a ball. Strikes. The pitch by Wilkinson. Strike out. Ball game over. Danny Wilkinson comes in to get another save. Villanova wins their home opener by a 5-1 to one score over NJIT. And that's four straight wins for Villanova. The first time they've done that in four seasons. Their ninth win of the year.